APS-C sensor cameras, you know, such as, like I was saying, the, uh, you know, the T1i, the, the whole Rebel series um, in Canon, even the 7D has an APS-C size sensor. Uh, uh, the APS-C size sensors, uh, you know, they have their advantages and disadvantages as well. Uh, one of the big benefits to having an APS-C size sensor camera or deciding to get one is the price. You know, like I was saying before, the price difference is insane. So, um, you know, like if you are on a budget or you just want to get started or you're just a hobbyist and you don't care about having that super top level, you know, uh, of, of quality, you know, if that's not important, you know, the, the, the quality on them is fantastic. You know, the, the picture quality is amazing. You know, the, the fact that you can do these pictures that are, you know, 18 megapixels nowadays on, on a, on a, you know, camera that costs seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. That's amazing. You know that. You know, like I said, I started doing professional work with a six point three megapixel camera. Of course, that was the standard then. You know, but um, you know nowadays to to think of that, like those pictures, they're they're embarrassing. You know, the the quality the quality level on them is you know something to 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 laugh at. You know, when you look at the things that that are out now today. You know, so um, you know with these cameras that don't cost a lot of money, you can get amazing pictures if you're shooting your you know if you're just documenting your family or documenting, you know, your life and, and, and your environment and what you want, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to go out and spend the extra three times as much as on the camera, you know, for this, for this little bump in quality, you know, the, the quality is, it's a, it's a major bump in my eyes, but a lot of people, you know, you can hold two pictures together and they couldn't tell you which one came from which camera, you know, like it, it's just, that's a fact, you know, especially at, especially if you're not printing to these wide, you know, these big giant prints, you know, no one, no one's really going to notice at four by six, if you shot it on a 12 megapixel or a 22 megapixel or a 60 megapixel, you know, no one's going to notice the difference, you know, and, and if they do, then hooray for them, you know, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, if you are, you know, doing the professional work and stuff, I would say, you know, Hey, you know, for me personally, like I said, really heavily by the end of this, I'm probably going to say I'm getting the 5d. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Another advantage to the APS-C size sensor is, like I said, we talked about it before, is it uh, is the the conversion factor for the lenses. Um, when you're doing telephoto, it gets you closer. It you know it saves you money because you don't have to spend that extra money for that extra distance. So the conversion factor, you know, can be a bonus if that's your side. You know, um, I know people who are all about the APS-C size sensor. They don't want a, a full frame sensor because they're like, hey, I do sports. I'm not going to cut my, you know, my, my focal lengths by one and a half times. No way. You know, I'm going to stick to getting these APS-C size sensors. I'm not going to get a 5D Mark II, you know? So, you know, there, that is that train of thought out there, you know? Uh, they're, they're also like, uh, they're also way lighter and uh, they're, they're, you know, they're easier to carry around all day and all day shoots. You know, you, you can carry your camera a lot more comfortably and a lot easier with an APS-C size camera. That's, you know, th there's no debate in that, you know, one's heavier, One's lighter. So I think it's an advantage to have a lighter camera, um, you know, especially if you have two bodies on you and, you know, lenses and all geared up on all of them, you know, the lighter, the better. Uh, but I don't think it's worth the trade off in, in quality. So, you know, personally, you know, like I said, I keep saying I like the bigger sensor. So that's me. A, a, a real benefit, which comes along uh, with uh, the price range, uh, you know, it being a, you know, $900 camera. And, you know, if you invest that much money in it, you know, to me, I, I would shoot a lot more loosely and I take it a lot more places. Like, you know, I actually take my older version of my camera with me sometimes when I just head out for, you know, for the day or something. You know, I, I like to have a camera on me, but I don't want to take my, my bread and butter camera. You know, I don't want to take I don't want to take the twenty five hundred dollar camera with me when I'm just going to go, you know, just to go gallivant around. You know, I don't want to do it. You know, what if it breaks? What if something happens to it? You know, but if you buy, you know, even if you have, uh, you know, and, and you do have these, you know, more expensive cameras, you know, it might be cool to get a smaller frame camera just because it's less expensive and it's great quality and you can take it out and you can shoot it without worrying about, you know, it getting stolen or broken or, or anything that worries you. I think you have less worry when you've invested less money. So, you know, I think that's an advantage. It's, it's, it's kind of an obscure advantage, but it is, you know, um, also, you know, there's, there's, uh, less expensive lenses for it that you can't use for a, um, a full frame sensor. So because of the fact that, you know, the, the old school lenses, uh, you know, they put in that, like I said, the 43 millimeter, um, cone of light that comes through. Well, now they're making lenses because, you know, like I said, new standard APS-C size lenses are taking over the, the world, you know, that, well, they, they've took over and now the full frames are, are taking it back. But, you know, the, the, you don't need that big cone of light coming in just to be cut off by all these camera elements and then get to that little frame. So they're able to compact the lenses and make a smaller cone of light come through. And so they're less expensive, but you can't use it on a full frame camera because you're, you're going to get, you're, you're just going to get the edges are going to be cut off because it's not made for that. So there are these lesser expensive lenses out there. 
you know, Canon has their S series lenses and that's, you know, that's exactly what that is. So they're less expensive. Uh, you know, I, I've seen lenses and I'm like, oh, that looks like a great lens when I found out what the S series meant. And I go to get it and I, you know, go to, and they're like, oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't even lock onto my camera. I can't even put it on, you know, and I'm just all, oh. So, you know, that's something that's out there. So, um, you know, it, that's an advantage that you have less expensive, you know, uh, equipment for your camera, you know, as far as lenses are concerned. So, you know, there are advantages and, you know, the disadvantages, of course, would be that it's it's not as high quality as a full frame sensor. Um, you know, but like I said, it's good enough if you're not, you know, trying to impress, you know, the world, you know, if you're not, you know, doing it as your profession and things like that, you know, if, if you're just, you know, going to be a hobbyist, you know, great, you know, and, and even if you're, even if you are going to be a professional, you know, and, and that's your, and you're comfortable with that and your clients are comfortable with that, they know your quality is this and they, they don't see the difference, you know, like, you know, then, you know, you have less discriminating clientele, then, hey, you know, no big deal. Get the, get the one that, you know, fits right in there. And then if you want to upgrade later, then upgrade later, you know, you know, and, and like I said before, the disadvantages would be that, you know, your wide angles get cut off as well. So your wide angle lenses are going to be cut off and that, you know, that's a big disadvantage if you like wide angle shots. So other than that, you know, I think the, the, the cameras are, you know, you know, they're, they're in the same ballpark. They're relatively, they're relatively the same, except for the fact that, you know, like I said, one's higher quality, one's less quality. Uh, but it, you know, it's, it's, it's unnoticeable at certain sizes. So a huge advantage of the, the large frame sensor is that you can make huge prints. You make way huger prints without getting the, you know, the, the visible pixelation and things like that. Um, your, your quality is just a lot better. So when you go big, it's great, you know? And so, uh, if you're not going big, don't worry too much about it, you know? So, you know, that's the thing. So, uh, I, ho I hope I helped you out. You know, I hope you learned a lot about, you know, the full frame sensors and, and the, you know, the APS-C size sensors. And, and I hope you know a little bit more now. Um, you know, and if you have any questions, you know, look in the comments and, and just, you know, comment me below and I answer my comments. I go through them, you know, all the time and stuff. So, um, you know, thanks for watching again. And, uh, you know, I'll see you next month when I come back with some more big tips, baby. So, um, keep watching. I love you guys, man. Take care. Peace.